Hello everyone, welcome to Beautifnocrats once again. In our previous tutorials, we have already discussed that how you can download freely available satellite data from the website of different data providers. In today's tutorial, we'll see that how this satellite image look like and how you can stack different bands of satellite image in order to enhance the object for better interpretability. How you can create true color composites or false color composite images using ArcGIS. So I will give you a brief introduction on how a downloaded satellite image look like and how you can stack them and prepare composite. So here is my art map. And let us start by adding the downloaded image to our map. Okay, and you can see that I have uh, 11 different bands of Landsat 8 OLI and TIRS data. When you download uh, the image, you get the image bandwise. This is what you'll see once you unzip that downloaded file. I have downloaded uh, this image from USGS website and how you can download the image from USGS I have already discussed in one of my previous tutorial and the link for the same is given in the description of this video. Now when you download an image uh, you get it in different bands and each band corresponds to image acquired in a specific wavelength. Like here in case of Landsat 8 and OLI TIRS data band 2 band 2 corresponds to the image acquired in blue wavelength similarly band 3 band 4 band 5 corresponds to the image acquired in green red and nir respectively so you have in total 8 uh, 11 sorry, 11 bands uh, corresponding to different wavelengths in case of Landsat 8, OLI and TIRS where the last two bands that is band 10 and band 11 are actually the thermal infrared bands which shows the emitted energy from the object. So um, I can take one of these for example I click on band number 4 That is the red wavelength and now you can explore your image you can zoom in and you can identify the actual cell value for example if i zoom it you can zoom it and then you can identify the cell value for example the cell value for that particular cell is 22967 and as you move towards the darker cell the value will reduce it is 7885 so you can identify the cell value uh, and this cell value will be different for different objects so if you see one band at a time like right now i'm watching only one band at a time so, uh, the image will appear in gray shape that means the black and white image will be um, will appear the colors will not be there because it is only one band at a time and these pixel values of the same object like if you see the same pixel or the same object um, will be different in different bands as every object will uh, behave differently in different wavelengths so for example if i open another band here um, for example band 3 and then I will try to identify the pixel value of the same object in this two different bands if I zoom into a band to one specific for example this is the pixel I want to identify this pixel the pixel value for this specific pixel is 20582 in band 3 that is the green band and the pixel value for the same pixel in red band is 19849 so this identification tool is amazing as it helps us in identifying the values 
corresponding to each pixel and similarly you can try out with other pants as well to identify the change in the pixel value of the object with the change in the wavelength so this was all about how the image and how the bands uh, look like um, once you download the satellite image now if you want to see if you don't want to see one image at a time in fact you want to see several bands together in one image in that case we have to do layer stacking to prepare a composite image for that there is a tool in ArcGIS which is known as composite bands so you can go to toolbox and look for this tool or an easy way you just type a uh, composite bands in the search in the tool search bar and you will get this tool so here is your tool just click on the composite bands and uh, you can browse to your data set from here and add the bands so you can add three bands four bands or all the bands that depends upon your choice but at time uh, at one time you can only see a combination of three bands for instance I'll select band 1 band 2 3 4 5 6 I want to stack these six bands together so add So here you can give the path and the name of the new image which uh, will have all the bands and then click on OK. So it is processing. So here is a new image which uh, contains all the bands but at the time you can see only uh, the combination of only three bands like here you can see the combination of band one band two and band three at this time now if you want a true color composite that is a combination of red green and blue bands for that you have to assign red with red band green with green band and blue with blue band as i have already told you that red uh, band is your band 4 green band is band 3 and blue band is band 2 so once you click on this red box you can see the list of the bands added in this image now already told you band 4 is red band so we will assign layer 4 or band 4 to red band 3 to green and band 2 to blue so this is a true color composite uh, that is a natural color image and this is how you can see uh, from your visible eyes now this is a vegetation cover and this is a snow laden mountains these are all snow laden mountains and here you can see this is a water body now there's so many things which are not clear in a true color composite usually we don't use true color composite for remote sensing purposes now here uh, if you see clearly so here are the cloud covers these are the this is the cloud cover and it is not easily to identify or make out the difference between the snow and the cloud cover but if you use false color composite you can easily uh, using different combinations you can highlight different objects and you can easily make a uh, difference make a difference between different objects so um, using satellite image we can have many other combinations apart from this uh, which are known as false color composite for example a very common combination usually used in remote sensing is NIR red green so NIR is actually band number five so band five band four band three so let us try that band five band four band three now this kind of uh, 
uh, color composite is usually used to highlight vegetation more red means greater vegetation so all that is in red is a vegetation cover white this is actually your snow laden mountains and here you can see a water body which can this is a water body see here you can easily identify a water body which was not that distinct in case of true color composite and again the snow laden mountains are here but again cloud cover and snow you are not able to uh, make clear distinctions between a cloud cover and a snow so there is uh, one more a combination of false color composite that is five six and four so five six four now in such in this kind of uh, color composite you can identify the cloud cover and you can make out the difference between the cloud cover and the snow okay see so the snow is highlighted with pink and this is all white is your cloud cover right so uh, different combinations are used for different applications it's not only one or two so you can use several combinations in order to highlight different objects now um, if you add thermal band like as i have already told you band number 10 and band number 11 are your thermal bands so if you add a thermal band for example i add band number 11 now this band shows the emitted energy uh, and this image shows the temperature variation throughout the area so not exactly it is not going to tell you the exact temperature because for that you have to make the calculations but it will help you in identifying the emitted energy and if you provide the color to this image you just go to properties and change the color ramp so for example if I change the color ramp to this the lower value will be highlighted with blue and the higher values or the higher emitted uh, values will appear red see so snow wherever you have snow cover they have the least emission value because snow is white so they absorb less radiations and hence they emit less radiations and as you move towards the vegetation cover or the other objects you can see that the emission is high so this is how you can represent a thermal radiations here you don't uh, like represent the emission using thermal bands and here you don't need the combinations of different bands to provide the color to the image because this image uh, itself is sufficient to tell you about the variation in the emission of the objects now there is one more amazing tool in ArcGIS that is image analysis go to window and you will find image analysis image analysis for example I want to highlight the vegetation cover of the image and for that I can create NDVI that is normalized differential vegetation index using band number 4 and band number five that is red and nir bands so um i'll just remove everything from here as of now and i'll add these two bands band number four and band number five so my bands are here i add both the bands in the table of the content and you can see that both of these uh, bands automatically loaded here in the image analysis window I will just select both of them now you can see under processing a little green leaf here is highlighted and you can use uh, this to create NDVI that is normalized differential vegetation index now here is your NDVI everything and like it's very easy to interpret here in this image um, the greener the image shows the vegetation cover and the yellow shows no vegetation so wherever you have vegetation cover it will appear green dark green means 
dense of the vegetation lighter green means less of the vegetation yellow means no vegetation so different tools different combinations of different bands and different composites which can help you in identifying the different objects so thank you so much